we have Naresh Gujral, in fact, a senior ally uh, of the NDA. Uh, Mr. Gujral, what would you say is the first issue uh, that, the, that the Prime Minister will have to tackle? What, what, what do you think needs to be on top of the agenda? Nidhi, after this massive mandate, it has to be an economic agenda because there are huge hopes in Mr. Modi from the youth that has voted for him. Now, obviously, that means you must ensure that the economy starts to gallop. We have to have an 8% plus growth rate if we have to create the jobs that our youth so desperately is looking for. And for that, I would say the first thing that the Prime Minister would have to do is bring in young, dynamic ministers who are selected on the basis of their background, their education, and not on the basis of just their caste and the regions that they come from. So I think mm. choosing the right cabinet, especially when it comes to economic portfolios, is going to be very, very important because they are the ones who will lead the way and cut the red tape that is so uh, eminently required right now. Don't forget. The 65% of the voters were under the age of 35, mm. and they have transcended both, both caste and creed. And I hope the BJP leadership would do the same, because right. it is imperative that you put in the talent, in, especially in those economic portfolios, which can help create jobs in this country. Uh, right. Naresh Kujal, if you had to, I mean, you said that the party is full of very, uh, uh, that the BJP has, ha yeah. has the talent, uh, you know. So who, I mean, if you could be brutally frank with us, who do you think would be a good finance minister? No, no I, I, I think that, that, that is, that, that, don't, don't put me in that Or give us uh, three, four position. names at least. But I think there is enough talent. You and I both know it. The country knows it. The country knows the names. And I only hope that the right people are put in the right places.